said it before that um, our Walmart sucks here in Canada so I'm gonna show you how bad it sucks take some video so this is pretty much the extent look at the condition of this yarn isn't it disgusting I mean, and it's, our, our prices are ex more expensive in Canada anyway but, um, it's pretty bad now I've never tried this Burnett Cozy style, so I may buy some of that, but um, it's just not great. Yeah, it's a disaster mess. And that's the notions, so I just showed you there, we have here, and then... So here I am now at Michael's, which is just across the street from the Walmart I was just at, which as you could tell was pretty drab. So today at Michael's I have a 45% off coupon, just one item, but I also have, um, I, it's also buy one, get one free of Lime Brand. So I'm going to see if they have any more Scarfy, um, Shawl in a Ball and um, see what I can pick up. And then I will show you later of my haul. I'm gonna maybe try um, uh, filming inside of Michael's. I kind of feel awkward, I've never done it before, but we'll see, bye. So the first thing I see is this Burnett blanket for pets. It um, is almost half price. It's more expensive here in Canada. Um, I have made some dog coats for my people at work and for my daughter-in-law's dog. So I might pick some of this up. We'll see. So here is the Lion brand. And as you can see, it's buy one, get one free. So this is kind of what I was looking at. So this is the weather that we currently have in Toronto. Nice day to stay home and crochet. Hello everyone, this is Rosie and I'm coming to you from Nana's Stitching Lounge. I uh, am coming to you from Toronto, Ontario where we're having a very snowy um, cold day. Um, I have some pictures I can probably post to show you the snowy weather. Um, and this is the second time that I am videotaping this because I taped 23 minutes earlier today with no sound. Yes, I did. Anyway, so I'm coming to you because I went shopping this morning and I want to do a video with my yarn haul. Um, and I want to show you what I bought. So first things I want to talk to you about is some of the, I guess, my completed objects. Um, I showed you this last time, which is a dress I designed, a bathing suit or a beach cover. I designed and I did this with the um, Red Heart Super Saver Ombre. And I showed you that, and I'm currently writing up the pattern for that. But I decided that I'm going to try it with, or I did try it with, um, Ball in a Shawl. This is Lion Brand's Ball in a Shawl. So you can see this, this was called, this particular um, color I think is called Coral 
um, I can't remember. Now this is in an extra large um, and uh, I wanted to do the same pattern as the ombre but do it in the ball and the shawl and I used one and a half, about one and a half uh, balls for this. Again you can wear it as a very see-through dress if you want or <laughs> as a beach cover-up. So again I'm going to write up both patterns, one with the ombre and one with the ball and the shawl. So um, the other thing before I get into my yarn haul is I know I talked about I had gone to Florida and I picked up I went into Hobby Lobby to pick up some yarn just to see what they had and I didn't show you the yarn that I actually got so it was the I love this yarn I don't know if you can see it's the purple Rose Love Crochet you will I don't know if you're gonna see this color no it looks blue in the camera but it's actually purple um, and then I got, so I got three of the spring, of the sparkles and then one in the, um, just the plain purple. Um, this has, I guess, I think probably most of you have seen the I Love, this is the metallic, I Love the Sharn. It has 97% acrylic and 3% polyester. And, um, this, actually, this ball was $4.99 American and I had bought a, a blue one so this is the blue one you can see there is a difference there okay so the blue one was $3.99 don't know why anyway and she would not give it to me all for $3.99 I had to get what was marked on the ball so on the blue one I again I got uh, th I think three with the sparkles the metallic and then the three with the regular just worsted weight plain colors. So that was my um, little yarn haul from Florida. I just wanted to show you what I had bought there. But this morning um, I went to Walmart and um, I took video of the very poor excuse for a yarn section in our Walmart. It's literally not even a, a, a mile and a half. I took some video of that if you all well, post it um, if I can figure out how to do that so um, so that's basically what I finished so I finished the dress and what I've been actually working on is um, these are 12 inch squares and they are based on Bonnie Bay crochets Cal from last year where she makes I think about 25 of these in very different kind of errand patterns. You can see this one's called the honey honeycomb pattern. So I did this in a, in a super saver jumbo gray. Um, this one is the braid. So you do them all in different colors and then you do them in like different cable textures. So this is the gray one, gray in the braid. This is actually um, burgundy. Kind of looks red in the in the camera, but it's actually a burgundy um, in the in the braid. So I haven't decided if I'm going to introduce another color or not. So I had to go to Walmart to pick up more yarn in this gray and burgundy. Um, but I'll show you what I got as well. And this is the gray in just a cable stitch. So. The cow that, she, that Bonnie Bay did um, last year asked, said to do five different uh, textures in one color, I think four different colors, and then you have to put them all together, and it's like, it would be a very, very big blanket, I think. Um, it would be like five feet by six feet or something, so I don't think I'm going to do all five. I think I like these three particular patterns, the cable, the honeycomb, and the braid so yeah it's turned out really cool and she actually has a really beautiful um, if you go on her YouTube channel you can see um, behind her there's a uh, shawl that she did in an Aran white it's just gorgeous and I'll show you some yarn I bought that I think I will probably do that pattern um, with the yarn I got anyway so um, then I went to Michael's 
and Michaels had a buy one, get one free for all Lions brand, Lion brand. So um, I was really interested in the ball and a shawl, shawl and a ball rather, shawl and a ball, and the scarfy because I did a whole bunch of scarfs and hats for Christmas last year and I used up a lot of what I bought. Um, and then I also wanted to pick up a few things for the uh, traditional granny blanket that I'm planning that I showed you some of the worsted weight yarn I bought last time. Um, so at Michael's, I actually um, got this worsted weight. It's a craftsmith. It's nothing grand. It's This one's an orange. I don't know if you can see the color. Um, it's like a coral. And it has 716 yards, and this was on clearance for $3.97. So that's pretty good. Um, then it had, this was on clearance too, and it's a pink. I don't know if you can see the pink. Um, so again, it's worsted weight, just plain. And then I got some white because I didn't have any white. Oh, this is actually the Super Saver Jumbo that I got in white. Um, which I got more, also I don't have it here, but I got more of this heather gray and this burgundy um, to make more of these squares. Interestingly, the heather gray, which is a super saver jumbo, is 10 ounces, and the burgundy is 14 ounces. So when I had to make this twice, because the first time I made it, I used the same hook size, which was a six, um, and then the border, a five and a half, and it was an inch bigger than the gray. So I had to uh, take it all out and redo it with a smaller hook size. And yeah, so I bought two more balls of the gray and two more balls of the burgundy. So I don't know, I may just actually just do um, squares in these two colors. Um, or maybe a lighter gray, because I did buy some lighter gray. Oh, we'll see. So then, um, I also got Scarfy. Scarfy. So it was buy one, get one free. So I got three of these. So this is the, um, it's a bulky five. And this particular is a cream black. So it was just white and black, and I got three of those because um, my husband is the only one that I didn't make a scarf and hat for, and this would be really nice. So I got three of those, and I don't know why scarfies. Actually, they they always come, like, when you go to buy them, they're always on the shelf, like, really, I don't know, all kind of messy. These were the best I could find, and then this one's black and hot pink which is really cool. So I got three of those. I am, it'll, that'll make a really nice big um, blanket, uh, not blanket, a big shawl or a big scarf, which would be nice for next winter. Or maybe this winter, depending if I finish it. And then I actually found two of these packages. I looked in the drawer, it's Crystal from Bag of Day does. And this is called Charcoal Magenta. And I got, this is the purple with the black. Um, you can see it through the bag. And there's two nicely packaged in a bag. Isn't that nice? Anyway. The other, oh, and then I usually don't get browns because I'm not crazy about browns. I'm always into the pinks and purples and burgundies. Um, but I did get the scarfy in this one here it's like a, a brown that goes into a beige and it's called cream taupe so that'll be kind of nice for i have three sons a stepson a step son-in-law there's a lot of men in my life and uh i'm sure that you know scarves hats will all come in handy so that is the scarfies that i bought I could have got a lot more, but I just, I don't know. I have, I have some other stuff that I already have, so I didn't want to get any more of the scarfies. So then I got... Uh, show you. A pound of love. 
So this is the Lion Brand Pound of Love, and this color is charcoal. So you can see I'm really into the grays, and this is what I'm thinking I will do Bonnie Baker Barker, Bonnie Bay Crochet, Bonnie Barker's uh, shawl. And then the book I showed you last time, she has some beautiful uh, huge shawls and, and sweaters. So these are the other gray, and this one is a Oxford gray. So those two together would be really nice. And then, so I got three of each, um, and then I got three of these. So this is a dark burgundy, I don't know if you can see, and it's called Claret, a Rouge Bordeaux. Rouge Bordeaux. Ooh, -hoo. Ooh la la. So that will look nice too. Actually, there's there's one pattern that these three together will look really nice. I'm just gonna leave these up here. If you can see them. But yeah, so I got three of those. I think that will be really cool to do. Um, and again, buy one get one free. So I actually I bought uh, nine. Nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and paid for five. I mean, regularly they only eight ninety nine for seven hundred and fourteen yards, and it's a hundred percent acrylic. I mean, I've never used Pound of Love, so I hope that it doesn't. I don't know if anybody has used it. Can you tell me whether it pills or not? But I hope not. Um, so that's that. And then, what else did I get? Oh, this is my cotton acrylic in here. Um, actually, this I already had, which is a riche cotton riche. Anyway, I had bought this this summer, but I might as well look at it. One's pink and one's a darker pink. I don't know if you can see the difference. Yeah, there we go. Anyway, so I just... I was organizing my stash because I had obviously bought a lot. Um, so uh, I did get shawl in a ball. And again, I don't know what's with line brand. They don't package them very nicely. But anyway, so I got two of these. These are um, Restful Rainbow. Very pretty. Because I think I'm going to, um, if I try the medium size in my... Um, dress that I made um, this would be really pretty and it's shawl in a ball you can actually make a shawl with one of these which is really nice and actually I posted a picture and my last YouTube tutorial or YouTube um, blog at the end I made a, a shawl um, I took it to Florida because I gave it to my girlfriend and so I just took a picture and um, I posted it and I did it with uh, Lanesia, Lanesia's um, pattern. She's really nice. She's, she's used this a lot. And she, um, anyway, I'll put her um, in the description box. I'll put her YouTube channel where she actually makes that particular um, shawl. But it turned out really nice. Um, so this one, I think, would be beautiful in that pattern, too. And, and because the pattern, well, in the extra large, it took a ball and a half. Um, I always buy two of the same color. Um, then I bought this color. Again, it, it kind of looks the same, but this one has more orange in it, and it's called Restful Rainbow. The other one was, oh, Restful Rainbow. Did I buy four Restful Rainbows? I guess I did. Haha. <laughs> it looked different because they are all wrapped differently. Oh, well, I'm going to make something really nice because I have four of them. <laughs> Great. Great. Oh, just spilled my coffee. Nice. Anyway. Um, then I got these ones, which were actually wrapped really nice and tight. And these are called Prism. So it has the browns, the blues, the purples. These are always my favorite colors. Really nice. Um, then this one actually would be really nice. It's uh, called Om Opal, Om Opal, Om Opal. And I don't know if you 
can see it ha it's gray but it has a little bit of sparkle uh, a blue and a pink sparkle in it anyway that'll be really nice for an evening shawl I think and I have um, bought a paid pattern that I got the idea from uh, Debbie from the Canadian crotcheter and I've made it with this for Christmas for a few people and it turned out really nice and I think this would actually be really nice um, as an evening shawl then I, made, I got the uh, this blue which is just beautiful very it's a lot of grays and blues and a really hot blue in there and it's called um, soothing blue I don't know how soothing it is but it looks pretty cool and Again, I don't know if I said that this is 58% cotton, 39% acrylic, and 3% other fiber, which is the sparkles, I guess. Um, I got one of these because I had one left over from some, some work I did, and it's just like a blue and a gray. Um, I don't know if you can see that. And so I like to have two of them. And it has a little sparkle in it and that one is called wind chimes and then i did something i don't normally do is buy browns because i don't normally buy browns and these ones were called cleansing quartz and it has a brown a gray and a cream it's actually really pretty this is a nice evening shawl i think would be nice too in this one and this one is namaste neutral and I got two namaste neutrals which is all browns and blacks and much darker than the other one this one has more white in it it actually kind of looks similar doesn't it but this one I think has more orange in it than the others so those are the shawls and the balls that I bought and um, I think that's it for my yarn haul um i want to so this week i want to finish um keep keep working on those errand squares um they're taking a lot of time they're i don't know i'm enjoying it though i have to say it, there's just a, it's a nice uh, relaxing crochet um i can't believe i bought four of these interesting eh not realizing that they were all the same. <laughs> um, and then I'd like to start with my traditional granny square. We'll see how far I get with that. But I'm looking at all of this and, and this the pound of love that I bought, which I really want to start that shawl from bon Bonnie Bay Crochet. Um, so we'll see. And I know I told you in one of my previous videos that I had had a hip replacement in November. Now I've gone back to work full time, so don't have as much time as I used to to crochet. I actually have to get out of the house and go to work. So um, I won't be as productive as I would hope. Anyway, um, so thank you for watching the video. Thank you to all of those of you who have subscribed and um, if you haven't subscribed just hit the subscribe button it's free there's nothing to do and then you'll be notified whenever I do post another yarn haul video or another review like I did last time um, so thank you everyone for joining me and if I read every comment so if you have any comments or if you have any suggestions on what I should do with my yarn haul um, please let me know and um, we'll see you soon. Ciao, everyone.